Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972 with another radio review. The Grande G3 Global Traveler Radio. It's an AM, FM, shortwave, longwave, airband radio with single sideband and RDS. I bought this radio several years ago, around 2009-2010 at Radio Shack. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for it. However, when I was on Google, I did find a website and that featured this radio. And it had a list price of $169.95. That was the manufacturer's suggested retail price. I doubt I paid that much for the radio. That's just what the list price said on this particular website. Now, um, this radio came uh, with an adapter. It also came with this owner's manual here. And this carrying case. And the dimensions of the radio is 6 and 3 quarter inches in length, 4 inches in height, 1 and 1 8 inch depth, a 36 inch antenna, and 4, excuse me, 2 and a quarter inch speaker. Now here's the radio. Your speaker's here. Your display is here. Battery indicator here. This line shows the uh, RDS information if you're on FM. And um, when you're on shortwave, it'll show you um, when you, you sync the radio or you're on single sideband, it'll specify lower sidebands and upper sideband. Or when you access your presets, it'll show either the name of the page that... Um, you name, you can individually name preset pages or go with the default 0, 0 to 99. So it has 100 pages. This line here is your weekday calendar here through the days of the week. I'm recording this on Saturday morning, which is why you're seeing this square on the 7. I'm recording this Saturday afternoon, 3.32 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Northeast New Jersey. Your clock is here. It's only a 24-hour clock. And then over here, when your radio's on, you can see the time here as well. When the radio's on, you can also see the display for narrowband or wideband. And here, when you plug in an external antenna while the radio's on, it'll show EXTANT, your external antenna, and your strength indicator here, your signal indicator. Now at the bottom are your function keys. They are mainly used to access the presets. A total of 700 presets, um, 7 per page, and there are a total of 100 pages. On the upper right is your power button, which works as your sleep button, your lock button, you press and hold. You can either lock or unlock the keypad on this radio. Your reset button here. Uh, if you have a pin or something real thin, you can poke. And it'll reset the radio if you need to. Over here is the time zone, copy, paste, erase, light, and edit buttons. And when you turn on the light, it's a light blue. Your numeric keypad here, your FM button here, which access your FM and air band. The zero button, which also access your AM band switch, uh, long wave or medium wave. And then your AM button can also be used uh, when you key in a frequency and you press AM. It will enter that frequency or you can use it to access the meter bands on short wave. Your volume buttons here, your USB, LSB, RDS mode button here, your sync, SSB, RDS button here, your page time button here. When the radio's off, you can set the time using this button. When the radio's on, you can access your pages 
of preset memories. And your auto up and down buttons, uh, you can either tune in manually using the buttons, or you can press and hold and it'll search either the nearest strong station or ATS, auto tuning search. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. I press and hold F6. It's ATS, only available on FM. That's the auto tuning search. Delay five seconds or stop. I'll put on delay five seconds. Now, on this side of the radio, you have your tuning wheel here, your wide narrow bandwidth switch here, your fine tune wheel here, your line in, line out jack here. You can either listen to this particular radio through speakers. You can do a line out or you can do a line in through an auxiliary cable if you want to listen to your phone or iPod, or MP3 player through the speakers here. Now, on the back of it, your antenna here, your vented cases here, your battery door, which stores your four AA batteries required to operate this radio. And what used to be the kickstand here, it's the second of two radios I have that have broken kickstands. And on this side of the radio, your external antenna jack here, your local DX switch here, headphone jack here, and your DC jack here where you can plug your AC adapter. And you can uh, power the radio that way as well. Now before I start going through the bands, I'm going to give you an FM reception report because uh, there are five different bands to deal with on this radio. I got about 52 stations, um, legally licensed, of course. Uh, a few frequencies, uh, I was able to get two different stations on the same frequency, depending on how I orient the antenna. And I also got several unlicensed stations as well, so... Uh, I got close to um, five dozen total stations, almost 60. So it does pretty well on FM. What I'm going to do first, however, I'm going to turn on the radio. And I'm going to go through various presets here. Got to turn this down a little bit. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press the page time button here. And this is a page I named SW shortwave and I'm going to go through just some of the shortwave channels as an audio test. This signal's a little weak at this time. And that's a little bit of the shortwave dial. Uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, just show you as an audio test how the FM sounds. Uh, none of them are music stations except maybe the first one that airs both music and talk. So I'm going to go through seven presets on the FM.
tells the life story of the legendary Greek American opera singer Maria Carlos and reveals the private woman behind the public image again. Forty of the second period, his twelfth of the season from Bailey and Pollock. Rangers tied it, Filipino for boot. And generation of energy has to be seen as the fundamental defect. In Brooklyn, New York, where this afternoon the New York Rangers defeated the New York Islanders by the final score of 2-1. to one. And Greg, you have... In verse 18, He has anointed me to preach the gospel of the poor and has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. And then verse, just below that, the next verse says, and recovery of sight to the blind. Now I'm going to turn this down a little because uh, I'm going to key in a station... And I'm going to try the RDS mode. Uh, I'm going to press this button right here. And it shows the station formation for Z100 WHTZ in Newark, New Jersey, uh, which is by New York City. That's the name of the station there. The date, if needed. The song title here and the format here, so that's just to show you um, what the RDS function does for FM. Right now, I'm going to switch to the airband. I'll use these buttons. All right, I'm going to try air one and see if I get some airband activity. Getting a lot of activity this hour. And that's just uh, the one bank that I saved. I actually saved two banks and just in case I didn't have any air activity on this uh, band of presets. So um, that's it for the air band. I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to switch to the AM band. Now, one of the problems with this radio is the uh, air band. I mean, the uh, AM long wave. There tends to be a lot of imaging of stations on the long wave band. This is a re. This is an imaging a 1050 ESPN Deportes in New York. It happens again at 2.30. Now, a global news update. This is imaging from Bloomberg Radio 1130. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo tells CBS has faced the nation the allegations in the New York Times... And, um... 
that's just a sample of the imaging I get. There's bleed through from other stations as well on both the long wave and in spots on the AM band. So I'm going to switch to AM now and start at 520. Get these tones on certain frequencies. Even decades old sex abuse, saying it would pursue any and all le investigative leads to ensure justice. I mean, it gets stations well during the day and at night, but on certain frequencies, you get either these tones or bleed through from or imaging from nearby AM stations. I live near some uh, powerful AM stations, including WABC 770. Where he was named Winston Scarborough after the Tobagonian nurse that found... Block 2, Theo John. Bullying his way into the lane. Right-hand shot goes over Mamukalan. Really... Aspire is a sleep solution that works inside your body with your natural breathing process. We are approaching sunset in a little over an hour or so. Getting WBZ in Boston, Massachusetts at this time of day is not really surprising. See, some tones here. Definitely more power. Well, and also a lot quieter. More of the best of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Straight ahead on Classic Oldies WMTR. Hey man, are you about to go on break? to that. I mean, that is one of the arguments against. I mean, what do you say to what do you say to children? Um, you know, you're communicating. I'm bigger and I'm more powerful than you. See, like this tone here. So it's a quality control issue uh, when they made this radio. This station, for example, 
I can never get any distant stations on 1540 because that is 770 WABC imaging on this frequency. Okay. I'll show you. I'm going to try that sometime. Taking a vacation around shopping. I guess people do. Not, but I have to look at that next time I, uh, I'm spending a vacation. Another tone here. It only happens on certain frequencies. See, this is some imaging as well, some bleeding from other AMs. Seventeen hundred, another frequency of uh, AM bleed through. And that's it for AM. But, um, my final thoughts as far as the bands are concerned Shortwave has a little bleed through from AM in spots, but it's not bad. Air band's pretty good. Um, I was able to get some activity, and FM is great, so, um, and even AM reception, it tends to be good in spots, it's just these tones on certain frequencies is what really makes the AM a little bit of a downer, but, uh, it can get stations, you know, I've, um, tuned in at night, and I was able to get quite a few distant stations, so, it does well on distant stations on certain frequencies. But before I go, I wanted to do one more thing. I wanted to test the line-in function, and I'm going to play a song from the YouTube Audio Library. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug it in here, the auxiliary cable, and press this button, and it's your line in. And that's a little bit uh, of some music from the YouTube Audio Library. I wanted to test the line-in function. I didn't get to single sideband, but I will probably be posting separate videos. I will be posting some separate videos on certain functions, including some ham activity. I won't do it in this video, but I'll do that in follow-up videos. Otherwise, um, it's not a bad radio overall. I mean, AM and Longwave are just, they're the main problems, really, in spots. It doesn't happen everywhere, just certain spots on the Longwave, Medium Wave, AM dial. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a good weekend, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.